Welcome to Kiev, Ukraine, with the Voices for Voices TV show and podcast. Uh, here with the, the CEO of Save Ukraine, uh, Mikola Kuloba. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Uh, just got goosebumps from uh, what we just saw, uh, reunification with a child, with, with uh, his mom. Uh, what keeps you doing what you're, you're doing? And what got you started in 2014? Yeah, we, we started our evacuation mission. We have the biggest rescue network in Ukraine. And our main goal to rescue families with children from combat zones. And after last year, after the occupation of territories in the Harkiv region, our rescue teams recognized because they were first who came there in these deoccupied territories. And they were reporting me that, Nikolai, we found the families where children were kidnapped, were deported to Russia. I don't know how it happened. They told, oh, children were sent by Russians to the uh, re-educational camps or summer camps. Uh, they kidnapped just military schemes and two kids. And we started our rescue missions uh, for children who've been abducted by Russians. And now just we, we finished our seventh rescue mission and we returned 22 kids during this rescue mission, but altogether 120 kids uh, have been returned. And uh, we had one family here with a brave uh, Vlad. It's a child who been abducted and now we return him from the military academy, Russian military academy. He's been there. He's he, he's very pro-Ukrainian boy. He's Ukrainian boy, but he expressed his Ukrainian position there. And he was blamed, he was pressed, he was tortured. So it was a, a psychological torturing of, of him. He was in the, he was prison for five days. And it, it, it is very, it's a horrible story what happened, but it's a successful story because we returned him to Ukraine and in this family eight children oh. and and youngers it's 11 in 11 months child and mother so brave to go there to take him from from um, occupied territories from this academy and Russians prisoned her mm -hmm. and four days she went through interrogation oh. of FSB and she was prison and she she was sitting in the jail and waiting and she's she's brave she's really a hero and this boy they heroes for us they are uh having air raid sirens all hours of the day what i've been struck with uh, my time here in kiev is the resilience of the people uh, continuing life uh, as normal uh, where's that resilience come from it's from our DNA, yeah, and it's, it's really, nobody believed that we will stand. When, when this full-scale aggression happened, we, many people believe that, oh, it's three days, how, how Putin promised everybody, we will, we will grab whole Ukraine in three days. But I analyzed this, why it happened, because we were, under the Russians for a long time, it's it's in Russia Empire, and they prison and kill and deported millions of Ukrainian, Holocaust and Gulag, and and many many families and children were deported. And I've been in Soviet school in Ukraine in Kiev, mm -hmm. and I never expressed myself as a Ukrainian guy. Yeah, but what happened now? Why we stand? Why we? Why we? We have this battle and we we deliberate we, we liberate our territories it's only one answer this DNA it's mm -hmm. now a blood we standing because we are Ukrainians like this boy who been yeah. captured who been in in Russian military Academy because he been placed there mm -hmm. he every day express his Ukrainian identity he was banished for this mm -hmm. but because this DNA, Ukrainian DNA, we're so proud to be in Ukrainians today and we need your support. We yeah. need support mm -hmm. of all countries, yeah. civilized world, yeah. Yeah, to, to protect our children, protect our families, to return more kids, to recover them and to integrate, integrate them 
a new area because millions of Ukrainian families lost their homes mm. and we continue standing in, in this battle and we will win I believe yeah so how can how can people get in touch with save Ukraine to help out the mission if they're in the the states or really anywhere in the world you can easily go to our website save Ukraine UA dot org or save Ukraine US dot org and please help us you can donate help us return more children you can help us find more kids who are in Russia now and they they have no idea where their relatives are and we can help them to be returned and we can help them to be recovered and to be integrated like this family with 14 people because this mother and father and eight kids and and the aunt with three kids they live in kindergarten and, and they they lost everything in her son region and we 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 reunited them and we won't find a house for them and help them to live normal life t for children to be educated well and to to feel like a child it's we've been children we know what is there to be a happy child and i want they all our ukrainian children could return to a normal life that's why we we can help more and we can rescue more and if you can help mm -hmm. us do this we can do it together yeah. thank you so much for your thank time you. thank you so much yeah.